Hey guys, what is up, Mitch here? Do another World of Tanks Xbox gameplay commentary. Here we're on Cliff Standard Battle. We are in the E50M. This is um, this is one of those tanks that I've played since the beta, and it's just a tank I know inside and out. I know typically how the gun's going to react. I know how the tank is going to shift, how it's going to handle things, uh, how the armor's going to work in, in certain situations. And it's just one of those machines where... You can see me in a 62A, you can see me in an Object 140, or an STB-1, or any other uh, tank, and I, I have an idea what I'm doing. I'm Usually I have a clue what I'm doing in those tanks, but this is a tank where I almost always know what I'm in. I always know the position I gotta be in with this machine. So at the start of the match, I'm seeing a uh, bat shot, I'm seeing a 50M on their team. So I'm figuring they're gonna meet me up here. And I go straight to the lighthouse side. I want to use my speed to get there and try to confront these guys. Our M48 and uh, I believe it's another Object 140. Uh, decide we want to get up here. And this M48 Patton was a good player, so um, I didn't have to babysit him at all. He actually did the really ballsy thing when we got up here, and you'll see that here in a second. We move up. And the first thing I'm looking for here is to see who's going to go running across middle. Now, the Object 140 goes across middle here. I got the Bat Chat behind me, or a 1390, I don't know what it is. Fire. There's their light tank that went across middle. Now, I initially thought I was still spotted from him. And you're going to see me shift around like, what the hell has me spotted? Turns out <laughs> it was the Bat Chat that made a YOLO run up the hill here from their team. I couldn't even believe it, so I took aim. <laughs> Planted a shot right into his back. We gotta make him pay for it. And I'm right now a little nervous. They got two already on their team. I'm expecting them to just start bombarding me. For some reason, they decide not to hit me. So I get a little impatient here. Take a shot here at the RU251. And that was mostly because I was a little annoyed that I thought I should have seen more tanks come up here. And I was like, God damn it, you know, nothing to fight. So I took a chance, hit the RU251. With my luck, there could have been somebody waiting around the corner with a big gun and whacked me, but it didn't happen. So I go around here, and nobody's contesting the middle for their team, so I'm feeling extremely confident. I think the M40A at this point was sensing the same thing. Nobody came to fight us. The only, their, their big tanks went down to Death Valley side. Why? I, I don't know. But, you know, we're going to take full advantage. So I round the corner here, and we're going to try and sneak a shot on that bat shot. He dies. He's tried to snapshot the T44. That wasn't happening. Looks like the shot might have hit the uh, might hit the rocks. And we see the E50M on their team is out in the open. We didn't even see him. Try to sneak a shot on him. You're going to see me try to go for the the commander's Kapala there. And he's wisely using the rock here to cover himself. He's wisely using it to keep himself covered. And, you know, shot deviates a little bit from the center, which is eh, a little frustrating, but nothing you can do about it. But I'm keeping I'm keeping cool. I'm keeping patient. I'm going to get an opportunity. E50 Hem here takes off running, which tells me he ain't got much support. They, there's nothing literally on this side practically. So he tries to take off and get away. I was going to go flying after him, but then we've seen this Centurion 1, and these two heavies pop up. I'm reloading. I'm about to go for the second shot here. RNG screws me, <laughs> partly because of this guy's bad driving, but I felt like I should have penned his upper glacius, but it could have been at a weird angle. We plant a shot here into the Tiger 2, going for another reload. We're going to hit him. try to hit him again before he can get away. We decide, decide to go for the... Uh, the VK 45 OTB Bravo or O2 Bravo. AMX 5100 hits me. I decide, all right, I'm going to give you some. Plant one to him, and you see where our M48 Patton's position. He's going to get some. Uh, he's going to get some visitors here very shortly. Tiger 2 here. I guess he's trying to side scrape. It didn't work. He gave me too much of a side, and this is where things begin to get real interesting for this M48. VK Bravo decides to say hi to him. The Bravo bounces off me. I plant one to his side. Going for a reload. I'm shifting around, just trying to give myself different angles to mess with this guy. The M48 now has the VK Bravo's full undivided attention. The Bravo gets taken out. We go and try to take out the Centurion 1. We want to weaken him uh, even further. 
And at this point, the M48 is depending completely on me and this Object 140 to keep him alive. I was going to try to plant one here in the U-50M, but I didn't um, aim my shot properly. I go for the reload. Object 140 takes the 50M out. We hit the Centurion 1. And we're both just trying to keep this guy alive because he, he's really gone to bat for us. I mean, he has, you know, he's kind of baited these guys and they just keep running in front of me and this Object 140's gun. 5100 ran out of friends. He's now dead and out of the way. We're going to round this corner. And I believe that's the Centurion one. Yeah, he has no friends. He's pretty much dead in the water and he knew it. And, you know, this was a case where the enemy team just, I, you know, I don't know what they were thinking. Take a shot here in the T-57. Of course, this is where the E-50M uh, just stands on its own in this game. It's probably, uh, right alongside the Leopard 1, it's probably the deadliest sniper in the game amongst Tier 10 mediums. It's just so well armored. It can kind of do a little bit of everything, but this is where... It, this is where the the specialty of the E50M comes into play. It's a highly accurate gun with a little bit more penetration than your average tier 10 medium. Plant one to the cheek here of the T57. And it's all formality at this point. We're just trying to not get wrecked or anything by these uh, tier 10 TDs. Plant another one to the 57. And we're just trying to finish them off now. I mean, I feel like I can sit here and get away with it because I ain't been spotted. Bounce. I... Shot must have went a little low because it says I weakened his tracks. Teammates are going to chime in and hit him. Finish him Enemy off. Get him out of the way. T110E4 at the bottom. And there's a T110E4 trying to climb the hill. I guess he gets to the top by the end. But uh, I'm th this match was pretty much uh, handed to us because they YOLO'd the, uh, or they lemming trained one side of the map. And uh, our M48 patent basically drawed out gun uh, all their tanks in front of our guns uh, on the other side of the map so it was all a formality really but this was a good game and I couldn't have done it really without that M48 I mean the M48 did an excellent job uh, drawing the, their idiots out in front of us uh, and yeah the DPM on the E50M it's not exactly great when you compare it to the other tier 10 mediums but it's a pretty darn reliable gun and the tank itself is extremely reliable and that's why I always fall back to it little over 6,000 damage done. Great game. And uh, the M48 had 3,700 damage. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.